Working in the mobile comms industry, I'm kind of reminded every day of how dominant iPhones are in the industry. And uh, I think that's less the case with desktop PCs, you know, desktop computers, uh, compared to sort of MacBook, uh, compared to Macs, iMacs, and, uh, you know, laptops. I think there's still a big mix of laptops. But as far as phones are concerned, it's unbelievable how dominant they are. So it stands to reason that at some point you're likely to need to tether your iPhone with a standard PC. And there's also every chance that you're not going to want to use iTunes because not everybody that uses an iPhone uses iTunes. And very much people who use PCs also don't want to use iTunes either. And we're going to look at doing that today. And we're also going to look at doing it specifically via USB, not over Wi-Fi. Because that's easy, isn't it? Anyone can tether over Wi-Fi. It's just a Wi-Fi connection, but we're talking about uh, making the iPhone a network device on your PC using the USB cable so you get the robust element of a, of a wired connection and, of course, the speed of a wired connection over USB. Welcome to tdcat.com. It's really quite straightforward to do, and there's plenty of plenty of forums out there. But we're going to take, go into a little bit more detail uh, on this video and just actually show it working. So, which files you need to install depending on what system you have. So, you either will either have a 32-bit system, which this file here. I'll put these in the links to these files in the sh uh, the notes below. This is the 32-bit, and this is x64 is the 64-bit. Of course, if you are unsure, you can always go to this uh, my computer symbol on your desk top and right click and go to properties and within there it should tell you quite clearly what type of system you're using you can see there that i am on a 64-bit operating system as probably most people are now and uh, so let's let's extract those files from here the main two that we're interested in are these two apple application support and apple mobile device support they're the largest and they are the two files that you'll need to install there. MSI install is totally harmless. It won't install iTunes. They'll just install your iPhone as a network device. So if you run both of those, restart Windows, that's usually pretty much all you need to do. But we've got a couple of extra files here, and these may need to be put in your System32 folder. So let's go to there. And it'll be your System32, or alternatively, it could be your sys wow 64 folder depending depending on uh whether you're on 64 bit or 32 bit but just do a search because a lot of the time they're already there and probably just try it without because most of the time you'll get what you need from these two installs now these files do exist in the installer for itunes uh, if we take a look at this is the very latest version which was downloaded today and if we extract these files from here, you can extract them from the exe, and we'll put them on the desktop. Let's just unzip those and put them somewhere. Where's it going to put them? Oh, there. Okay, let's move them up there. So, uh, so we do have these in here. So, if you want to make sure you've got the latest versions, you can uh, you can basically pull them out of there. It's no problem at all. Just go onto the Apple site, download iTunes, and extract them out. But if you don't want to be uh, if you don't want to be going to those lengths, just go below and download these two files or whichever one you need. So once you've got those installed, it's really quite straightforward. Um, we can just enable Hotspot on your iPhone, which I'm going to do now, actually, while uh, I'm on here. And I'm, but the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my PC. I'm going to go to Network here, right-click, and go to Properties and go to change my adapter settings and you'll see that this PC is only connected via Ethernet. Uh, it doesn't have Wi-Fi on it, so I couldn't possibly do it any other way. But I'm going to enable my personal hot hotspot on my iPhone, of course, by going to settings and personal hotspot and just enable that. Wi-Fi is turned off. Fine, doesn't matter because I only want to do it over USB. So that's enabled now. I'm just going to plug in the, the USB cable into the bottom of the phone and the PC. And immediately as I plug that in, you'll see it comes up with Mo Apple Mobile Device Ethernet. 
Ethernet 2. And what I would usually do in these circumstances is disable my main um, LAN connection. So I'm going to just disable this. And the reason I do that is just so that there's no question which way the traffic's going to think about going or need to be route or going to, you know, which way it's going to try and route. It will only route through this Ethernet connection because it's the only one available to it. So I'm now connected and it, my phone tells me I'm connected. I can see the blue bar at the top that says personal hotspot, one connection. I'm on, I'm on 4G. Uh, so you've got to be careful because this will use quite a lot of data if you're on if you depending on what data plan you're on remember now that the pages you get served up will not be um you know will not be reduced versions they will be um the full version of the site so it won't sort of be optimized for uh, you know mobile devices reduced data reduced picture sizes uh, it'll be the full the full thing so i'm going to if i just go to my video here we go to YouTube or something, we can see. We can see that it works absolutely fine. Or if I, I don't know, what, what site can I go to? Let's just go to BBC, because everybody goes to BBC, don't they, when they test stuff. But look at the speed of it. I mean, it's incredible. It's um, it's probably <laughs> probably quicker than quicker than the um, than the uh, solid connection actually. But uh, there you go. I mean, that's all you need to do. And when you come back to using your standard connection again, so for example, if your internet goes down for some reason, if your landline goes down and you need to uh, use your tethering, then just pull the cable out. That disappears. Re-enable that. Network cable unplugged, it'll enable, done. That's all you need to do. It's as simple as that. So download those files, install them, no need for iTunes. Hope this is useful, and if you like what we do, please do subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you soon.